I imagine this whole thing will be polarizing. Some people will not like it because it's hard, and some people will appreciate it because it's hard. In its third last episode, and you can make the argument that this was the penultimate episode since the last two episodes are going to air together next week, Sheldon's dad, George, met his far gone conclusion. Mary, we got some bad news. Where's George? When I lost my own father, I didn't have any friends to help me through it. You do. He's gone. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory established that Sheldon's dad died when he was 14 before young Sheldon even began its run in 2017. So for actor Lance Barber, it was always something kind of, you know, hanging over his head. The fact is, I knew because of the history of the Big Bang, I was emotionally prepared for this from the pilot. You know, at least the potential of it. On the card that shows at the end of every episode, last night, creator Chuck Lorre wrote, 18 years ago when we were writing and producing The Big Bang Theory, it seemed like a good idea to imagine that Sheldon's childhood was deeply disrupted by the loss of his father. No one could have thought that someday we would regret that decision, that someday is now. There were a lot of tears on stage when this episode's last scene was shot. A reminder that we'd all fallen in love with a fictional character, which is itself a reminder to love the characters in our life who are real. To do otherwise is to live with regret. And look, I think it would have been ridiculous if they didn't address this in you know all of young Sheldon's run, especially because Actor Ian Armitage looks 14 at this point. In real life, he's actually 16. So to survive 139 of the 141 episodes is pretty dang good. <laughs> and yeah, for Lance, he's actually happy that he went out before the show went out. Yeah, I have a selfish perspective on, on it ending the way that it is for my character because I think it's memorable. Uh, you know, selfishly, yeah. for that character actor, I get to play a part that... Uh, of you know, America's dad gets to die on TV. After the episode aired, Ian posted a two photo carousel that matched his caption, love you George, love you Lance. Lance shared Ian's post on his own story. Annie Potts posted the photo with George, I guess, and wrote, love you George, forever and always, Mima. Lance saw the scene where Ian, Annie, and the rest of his TV family found out about his death for the first time when he watched the episode last night. I, I deliberately was not there. Uh, I thought my absence would be helpful for the actors and appropriate for that moment. And uh, and I wanted to wait and see it on the screen with everybody else. And that was also the case for Zoe Perry. Because I'm standing a bit in the foreground, I'm not totally privy to, you know, what's happening behind me, although I can feel it. Upon hearing the news that as an actress she dreaded for years, but as the character was completely blindsiding her, Zoe surprised herself with her own reaction when it came to actually shooting that scene. I don't know that I was planning it, but I was angry at the news or at even the threat of the news. Telling a story where the audience knows the season, several seasons in advance, or in this case, the entire run of show, that a character is going to die certainly makes for interesting storytelling. Like it reminds me of This Is Us. And yeah, we knew in that first episode that Jack was going to die at some point, and we found out how he died um, in episode 32. But I actually think this lines up more closely with the death of Rebecca on that show. I can't remember when exactly we found out she was gonna die. Um, it was either the beginning of season four or season five, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, that final season had just hung over the show, and they made the decision to have her die in the penultimate episode so they could, you know, end on a different, more upbeat tone in the final episode. And that's exactly what young Sheldon decided as well. I was always doing things to make other people happy. Doing things to make other people happy? You've got to be kidding me. Yep. Executive producer Steve Holland told Variety, we always knew we were going to dress it this season. We always knew we were going to get to the funeral this season. We always knew that George's death would happen off screen, that we didn't want to witness it. It was just a question of when. There was a version of this, as we talked about it early on, where it would have been the finale, would have been the death and the funeral. I think it was Chuck who said, this is a mostly positive, uplifting show. Let's not leave the audience deep in their grief. Let's watch the family start to piece itself back together and let's end with a little hope. So then that reshifted when we're gonna do it. I think that was the right decision. We'll see um, if the final episode was still satisfying. I know a lot of people were let down by This Is Us's final episode because it was kind of like a mundane, just a day in the life of them kind of thing. Nothing significant happened. Um, but this should have more significance because we're gonna have Jim Parsons and Mayan Bialik back in this final episode. So, or like, I don't know, back, but yeah as part of this final episode. We're making an appearance in it. Yeah, and it's a reveal of sorts. So that'll certainly bring some weight to it. But yeah, what'd you think 
of uh, how young Sheldon finally decided to tell or reveal, or I guess, I don't know, <laughs> not tell, reveal, um, fit in George's death, I guess that's the best way to put it. I think that the writers are really leaning into something with this that I think is uh, a gamble, but from my perspective, a really beautiful um, way to do it. 